I like um, taking close-ups of buildings, uh, architecture, uh, old houses, churches, they're really superb in this area. We came to do the uh, book about historic churches because there are so many in Norfolk, I think somewhere around about 700 in total, and they are such beautiful buildings with the uh, spires sticking out above the trees that I thought it would be ideal to capture these with a long lens um, and show the churches from a different perspective. People will never have or hardly ever have seen the churches looking down on them. I've been flying quite a long while now, I suppose from 1960 I joined the Waveney Flying Group at Seething uh, and then started flying in Tiger Moths in about 1968. With the photography that I did at school that all sort of fell in together because I could then take my aerial photos and uh, build up my library. We usually fly at a height of 500 to 1000 feet. This then gives us a chance with a 200mm lens to get a cracking picture of the, of the detail of the, of the building. We're usually in touch with Norwich Air Traffic. Uh, the chaps there really know what I do, they know I'm a photographer. In fact I send them picture, unusual pictures that I take in the area so that the controllers know what I do and they virtually let me do what I like. Um, we have to abide obviously by the control zone in the Norwich area. Um, but that's only a, 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 a sort of five mile radius zone, so it's no problem. But uh, they will let us go into the zone and photograph over Norwich. Um, over the Norwich city, we have to operate basically about 15 to 2,000 feet, 1,500 to 2,000 feet, can't go down low. Uh, outside that, we can go down to 500 feet, which is the minimum we're allowed to go to uh, within a uh, person or property or close to persons or property. In a helicopter you can obviously stop on site and hover and, and take your pictures which is easier. Uh, with an aircraft I'm doing 100 miles an hour so you've got to realise that I'm going past something at 100 miles an hour. So we do one orbit around a church which gives us a good picture and we can take the several pictures around that uh, one orbit probably sort of round about 10 or 12 and one of those will be a nice one. I've always used Canon cameras. I now use a Canon um, EOS 1D Mark III and a 7D. On the 7D I have the wide angle lens which is a 24-105 and on the uh, 1D Mark III I have the 70-200 to lens. And they're the only lenses I use that covers everything I need. Uh, when I'm flying around I don't necessarily follow a route. Um, if I'm going after something specific, yes, like we're doing the um, uh, Southern Bypass, the uh, POSIC hub at the moment, I go there specifically to do that. But while I'm up I do other things as well, so once I've done that one job I can then move on to another area and uh, as I call it, I just bumble around, enjoying myself and uh, if I'm flying at 500 feet I can see all the church towers sticking out and uh, wow, I'm after that one, <laughs> I'll have that one. Or I haven't got that one, we'll get that one, or I've done that one, you know, and that's how it goes, you just sort of uh, fly around really for enjoyment. My, my prime object really is to get the people of Norfolk and Suffolk and, and all over the world in actual fact to just enjoy seeing what I see as a pilot. The latest Churches book, well I would hope people would get enjoyment out of seeing the pictures for a start, but it will encourage them to go around and visit the churches. We put a grid reference for each church, we put an address for each church in the book. There are thousands of people who are interested in church history. My pictures unfortunately only show the outside because I can't fly inside the church. So they only show the outside, but at least people can then go and look and see the attractive stuff that's inside the church. In fact, I've started doing it, so I know it's worth doing. Mm -hmm.